What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. Before we begin with the actual video, I want to go ahead and give a huge thanks over at Videoblox for making this video possible. If you guys don't know what Videoblox is, Videoblox has been the place to go for affordable premium stock videos since 2011 thanks to its subscription based unlimited library. You guys will have unlimited access to a download of over 10 million dollars worth of footage of After Effects templates and motion backgrounds. Everything will be 100% royalty free and yours to use forever in personal or commercial projects. Videoblox doesn't take a cut and instead passes savings onto its customers an average of 40% on HD and 4K downloads for this competition like Shutterstock or Pond5. The link will be in the description for you guys to check them out. You guys can start your 7 day free trial. Link will be in the description for you guys to check out. Have you ever wanted to slow down your footage and make it smooth? Final Cut Pro 10 has the option to slow down footage with optical flow, uh, which makes your video smooth without any lag. Please remember that your footage must be shot at 60p or 60 frames in order to produce smooth slow motion. So if you record with 30 frames per second, it's not going to give you the best result because 60 frames, 60 frames is pretty much real time and it makes it look more smooth. So let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. Let's create a new project to begin with. So keep everything the same but the rate set to 60p or 60 frames. So give your project a name. I named it Glass of Water because why not. Save the events in updated projects and the only thing you want to change here is video properties. And if you filmed in 720 or 1080p, select that. I, I filmed in 720. I kept everything the same with the resolution, but the frame, you want to change it to 60p. Don't change the audio, just keep it the same. So just do that. Once you have imported your footage, drag them onto the timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and import my footage right now. I filmed this on my GoPro because I couldn't find any videos that were filmed in, in 60 frames per second. But if you guys want to import stock footage, you could go over to videoblocks.com and check them out. They have some amazing footage there as well. So press Shift Z so you can see the whole video on the timeline. So once you've done that, you want to click this button and it's going to be the clip retiming options. Go to slow and you have an option to set to set it to 50%, 25%, and 10%. Okay, so 50%, 25%, and 10%. If you choose 50%, your video will be slowed down by 50% or half, and vice versa. Do note that 10% is the slowest and 50% is the fastest, okay? So here you have other options I could choose, but I don't choose this. If you want to, you could do this. If you want, you could experiment with this. If you want to add a custom percentage, you can click the sides of the orange bar and just drag them left or right to make it a certain percentage. So this is the before without optical flow. That's the feature that we're going to go ahead and apply onto this footage. And as you can see, everything is going to be a little bit laggy. It's not going to be as smooth without the effect applied. So we're going to go ahead and just show you this is the before. So you can see that everything kind of plays pretty much good because it's filmed in 60 frames per second. That's why it's important. Now go back to the options there and go to video quality and select optical flow. This will pretty much analyze and process the footage to make it more smooth so it doesn't give you that jagged line. So remember to record in 60 frames on your camera, on your phone, whatever you're using to record. Just make sure that it's set to 60 frames per second, which is the maximum, I believe. So once you have done that, you're pretty much done. And here is the after. So you can see that it is much, much better with the optical flow added. Again, you can change this if you don't want to or if you don't like it. But in my opinion, it makes the footage much, much more smooth and it decreases or removes the lag completely. That is pretty much it on this tutorial. If you guys want to see some more videos, please leave a comment below in the comment section so I could go ahead and look at that. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out.